thanks for hanging out with me. I know it's been a while since we made a video and I apologize for that. I've been at work and it's just been a crazy schedule. I've been working three to midnight and staying late and helping get projects done. So forgive me for not putting any videos out recently, but this video tonight is uh, brought to you by Torganol, not because they sponsored video, but because they sent us this sample pack of colored pigments to use. And so that's why we're making this video tonight. We got these in the mail last week and I've you know been busy so I hadn't got a chance to make a video. But we got these and we want to say thank you Torganol for sending us these samples. They were absolutely free guys. Um, we just filled out their information and they mailed it to us three to five business days and here, here they are. We got their colors. Uh, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pigment colors um, in a pack that they sent you. They're four, uh, one ounce each. Yeah, one ounce. Because uh, they say to mix one ounce of this to twelve ounces of uh, solid, uh, your resin mix, your solid resin mix, epoxy mix. So they got enough to make 12 different colors, um, making you know 12 ounces. So uh, they got colors in here that are like, uh, they say Mandarin, uh, Reef, Guava, Lager, Pearl, that Whale. Yes, it's Whale. Yeah, Whale. Yeah. Parrot. Avocado, Dolphin, Papaya, Americana, and Caribbean. So that's those colors right there. Um, I'll go in uh, when I finish the editing, guys. I'll cut in a segment there. i show you exactly the uh, web page and where to click on to get the samples and the information you need to fill out that way you guys can not have any questions on where to go and just you know say thank you when you get done and uh, they'll send you these all right so we've already done some choosing ahead of time and hey when you choose spray paint be careful and the cups you use because the spray paint ate the bottom of the cup out that's kind of awesome yeah so you got to be careful with that. So apparently these cups may or may not last with our good thing to know, huh? All right, I chose that I'm gonna use the, they call it P1610 Caribbean, Caribbean blue. So what are you going to use? I think I'm gonna use this one right here, which is P1240. It's the Americana. Americana, it's a pretty looking little red color there. And again, guys, these were sent to us by Torganol simply by asking. We went to the website, clicked on the samples link, and this is what came in the mail, guys. So thank you, Torganol. We do appreciate it. Um, now that we're gonna use yours as samples, see what we can come up with, and then we can start ordering from you guys. Hopefully we'll make something great and the pigments will work out great, and then we can start buying stuff. Yay. I'm using my phone. You keep seeing me look down at my my phone here to control my Canon T7i camera, so that we can not have to jump up and down to pause and start the video, guys. Um, while she's getting ready to mix up, I'll show you what we're using as our base. These are little 97 cent wood ovals. Got them at Walmart. Uh, again, not sponsored by Walmart. Wish, wish they did, um, but these are 97 cents. Uh, these are great to practice on. These are great to make if you wanna do like a oversized coaster. Um, if you use the right temperature sensitive resin, you can use this as a pot plate, you know, set it down on your countertop, set the pot on top, um, and as long as it's, you know, 500 degree uh, epoxy resin, you can set it on top of that and that'll be, you know, your little heat resistant thing. Um, you can do it well, you can mount it as a wall plaque, Use it as a desk thing, cut them out, use them as picture frames. You can actually, you know, once you've done with the resin part, you can take and write on them like welcome. Oh yeah, write on them, say welcome. Yeah, that's a good idea. Life, you know. Yeah, make your little, life, you know those little love, things, messages whatever. of, a, those little messages of encouragement, yeah. faith, you know, all those kind of things. That's kind of cool. Good idea, that's a good project. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we'll be using. Got that from Walmart. Uh, Rust-Oleum, Walmart. Artist Craft Loft, 
Got from Michael's, big bottle. It's a big, huge bottle of it. Um, that's where we get our stuff, guys. None of them sponsor us, but we just tell you where you can go and hopefully you can find everything we're using in your local market. Um, a little note on uh, spray paint. Be careful the type of plastic you use because if you can see, I can see you through the bottom of this cup and that's because the uh, spray paint ate the bottom of the cup out. So I had to change the spray paint over into one of these cups. So still solid, nothing coming out of it. All right. Oh, I'm gonna mix a little bit of this powder out. Yeah, that's what uh, I do. It's a screw on top. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a screw, screw on, and it, it it's not all the way up to there. It you're gonna get mm. that. Yeah, you're gonna get a little puff, and then it should be like it's probably not powder level. ball. Poof! It's a little pigment powder. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty, and it's fine. Yeah. That's a good thing about it. It's very very fine. Now a little of this stuff probably goes a long way. Usually it does. According to the box, if you mix this in, this whole container in 12 ounces, um, it says the color is going to be clear. So, kind of figure these would be like a, you know, like a see-through look versus being very, very opaque. I guess if you mix a lot of it in there, you can get a solid color. But it's definitely thin. Um, if you guys can think of like eyeshadow, that's kind of what it looks like to me. You know, when you see it, when you see somebody who wears different colors of eyeshadow, and it's the kind of way it spreads out too on my fingers. It's, you know, kind of, I can see through it, but I still see the color. He's in trouble now. I'll be in there using that for my eyeshadow. Yep. Should be all different kind of colors because there's a lot of them in there. Yep. And, whoo, alcohol burns. Uh, got a cut on my finger, so just put alcohol in it. So now I'm completely sanitized and on fire. All right, guys, she's gonna measure out some resin for us. We're gonna try to use about four ounces total for four of these. She's gonna use uh, some to make on hers, and I'm gonna use some to make two of mine. So that way we can have. Whew. There we go. Right. And we're using uh, Enviro. What is it? Envirotex light. Envirotex light. Why do I even have to question that? Um, we get it at Michael's too, um, and it's simply a one-to-one. -one. one part hardener to one part resin. And that just simply means you pour one in and call it good. There we go. Jaeger was in it. And he's outside, so he's still trying to get in it. Yeah, he always likes to get into paintings. Now I know this looks like a lot for just two for her and two for me, but trust me, it looks like it's gonna be just plenty. Okay. All right, go ahead and stir that up and then mix it out into yours and I'll pour mine. Yeah, yours? Yep, I'll do mine. That way we can kill two birds with one stone. Which one did you do which? Uh, which one did you have last in your hand? The, that one. Okay, that's hardener. Hardener. Okay. We're trying to keep these things separate so we don't pour hardener and the resin in the same measuring thing because then it will end up getting hard and then we'll end up having to throw away the measuring device. Which would be very, very sad. And another thing, guys, that I've been thinking of wanting to do, especially for um, everybody that's really local or um, even if you're far away from me um, as a viewer and uh, a subscriber to my channel, is I kind of want to have a, uh, a virtual pour party where if you even if you don't know how to do um, pour painting of resin or acrylic or whatever, um, I'm going to put together a kit. It's going to be a four by... Uh, now, actually, it's going to be a 10 by 10 uh, piece of wood 
uh, canvas. It's basically a uh, eighth inch thick with a backing. Kind of looks like canvas, but it's made out of wood. Um, we'll prep them for you. Uh, we'll let you choose three colors of your own. Um, we're going to be doing acrylic pour, so it'll be three colors of your acrylic pour. We'll send you some medium to mix in with it. Um, we'll ship it to you. We're trying to keep the cost around $25 to maybe $30, probably maybe even try to go under that so it's not very expensive for your first time. But then we can all sit down together. I'll do a live broadcast. I'll have my wife here, hopefully I have my daughter here who loves doing this stuff. And we'll do like a puddle pour with one of us, do a, a dirty pour with one of us and just do a crazy pour like I do. Um, that way you guys can see the different techniques. There's tons of techniques, but then we'll do three separate ones to show you guys how to do it. Um, and you can sit along and do it with us. And you know, you can be in the comfort of your own home, um, if you don't get a chance to watch the live video, it'll be posted on after that. And then you guys can sit down with your kit, pull the stuff out, go right through the measuring of the stuff, the pouring, the mixing of the mediums, and see how a flip cup's done, see how a dirty pour's done, um, see how a putter pour's done maybe, depending on who chooses what to do. I like um, puddle pour. Yeah, she likes to do the puddle pours. Um, my daughter, she does kind of like the like me. She likes to do the just make your own design and then see what comes out. That's what I like doing. Um, but anything you like to do, the colors you choose, that's all up to you. We'll put the kits together, ship them out to you in the mail. Um, like I said, we're trying to keep the kits around twenty to thirty dollars. Um, just for a, it's going to be a resin pour um, in the future because that'll be a little bit more expensive because resin's a little bit more expensive to use. So an acrylic pour first because we can get the materials a little cheaper, we can get it shipped to you cheaper, um, and then it's, it's something that's fun that you can sit down with the family and watch us learn. And then, you know, then once you're done, you have your piece of work. So, uh, you know, look, I hope to get that started very soon. So if you can, go to Facebook. Um, join the Hanging for Tony website and you'll see messages there posted and as it gets closer to me getting this out and getting it done I'll do a video and making the announcement of what day it's going to be and then you know let you know that hey the kits are bought they're going to be put together um, you know just send me your $20 $25 what it ends up being and your color choices and we'll get it right to you in the mail and then we'll get them all mailed out to everybody and once we feel like, hey, everybody should have their kit, we'll make the announcement that, you know, the live pour party is going to be on this date. Um, come join us. If you can't, then, you know, at least it'll be posted online for you, and you'll be able to take your kit, sit down in the comfort of your own home. And, you know, that way you can get together with friends. We'll be able to take uh, chat questions, you know, and answer your questions right there while we're doing it. Hopefully we'll have somebody here, maybe a... Uh, Tiffany's husband Michael will come and he can moderate for us and as you guys have questions we can answer them live you know um, that way you can sit there and learn and have everything you need right there in one convenient place yeah um, if Michael comes expect Riley and Rowan to be yeah, here and our, our, excitement because our they, granddaughter and grandson yeah those two they wow. are wonderful. So um, hopefully we can get them on camera too yeah. without going crazy. We'll get them on camera. We'll make it a family event. Be kind of nice. Scotty, you're invited too. You're more than welcome to come. Bring Jonathan. Brian, if you're not going out of town by then, you're more welcome to come. Yeah, he's leaving August 11th. So you can come down. And those are our sons and daughters and their significant others. Yeah. Ryan doesn't have a significant other yet, but he had one. But. He had one, but he's he's working on it. He's getting his life straight. He's a smart guy. He's going to school, um, learning how to do a lot of good stuff on motors, boat motors, everything. Um, that's where money's made. Is all in the trade schools and stuff like that. People don't realize that. Um, everybody drives something or moves something, and it takes a very special person to know how to work on it and keep it going. So yeah, and right now he has all the certifications for cars. So he now wants to move to boats. So he has to, he has to go to Florida to do that. And guys, it's like I said, one to one. You mix it up. I'm supposed to mix it up for three minutes. You know, sitting here constantly stir it. You're gonna see a lot of bubbles get in there. I, I see bubbles going around. Like right there's a resin bubble going, and there's gonna be air trapped in here. Don't worry about it. We have a way to get it out. Um, just use a little heat, use a hairdryer or a heat gun, and it comes right out. So, 
you just want to make sure you get it all mixed because if you don't, your stuff could dry tacky. Um, one set could set one side of it could set up perfectly fine. The other side could just take and never set. So that's what you're trying to avoid by mixing it thoroughly, making sure everything's mixed in together. Make sure you scrape your sides, your bottom. Get it all mixed in there, good. Don't forget to put a little bit on your wood and I'll spread it out for you. I forgot to save some for the other one. That's right. Yeah. Actually, what I can do... Set the stick somewhere. Get out of the plaque here. And flip the cup over on it. <laughs> Uh, just think about that. Set and green apple. That looks pretty good. Yeah, like I said, guys, that pigment powder goes a long way. And Torganol, I gotta say, man, your stuff mixed in pretty quick and pretty smooth. I mean, there's no big clumpy flakes. There's no weirdness to it. It's simply mixed in easily, quickly. And very little, guys, made a very beautiful translucent blue. They call it Caribbean. And it does look very, very, very nice. Look at that, mixed in, there's no clumpiness, there's no big huge chunks of powder, there's nothing not mixed in. So that's a plus. They seem to make a pretty good product that mixes well with resin, that's for sure. This is what Americana looks like. That's pretty, that's a solid red. Yeah. This is just my white guys. I'm just trying to clean the stick off the resin. Oh, heat gun to heat up the the resin on the here to make it spread a little easier. And guys, the reason why you put just a little resin on your canvas, or in this case, our little wooden ovals here, is resin likes to flow where resin's already been. So you pour a little clear down, and it'll spread around, and then when you put your colors on, it'll spread real easily. Here you go. You can just use your own. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. You can do yours. You know. I'm just trying to save your hand. Extra stick. Take another stick and just move it around. Try to cover it up. Get your edge a little bit. And if you guys are wondering how we prep these little wood ovals, we happen to use gesso, um, but you can spray paint them if you want. You can just seal them with, uh, you can put a light coat of resin on it first, you know, and just heat it up, make sure it looks good. Let that set, then lightly sand it, um, and then pour over that. You could uh, use Kills house paint and primer in one that will work again no sponsorship just know they work that's all um, and it's easy to give you a name to go with it now i'm using a stick she's using her finger with gloves i usually can't find gloves that fit me well that don't feel like i'm trying to cut the circulation off to my hand so i just use alcohol guys after i'm done and it cleans everything off so that's simple it's not hard 
Jaeger's trying to get into my dad on painting. Yep, he's trying. Jaeger's outside, but he's definitely trying to get in there. Now, Jaeger's our dog, and uh, his hair gets everywhere. Yep. But if you're careful, you can look and get it out. All right, I'm going to start off with my blue. Stir it up a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit of Jaeger, too. Get my blue. I'm going to do kind of a putter pour mix. That's what I was gonna do. Huh? Go ahead. We both can do it. We can yeah. We can both do puddle force. That blue right there. And I'll pour some green on top of that. I'll put some white on top of that. Guys, you can do whatever kind of way you want to do it. I'll start with blue. I don't know. I'll start with green. You can, like I said, it's whatever design you want to make. Um, this is called a puddle pour, where you basically just pour puddles of your colors on top of each other, and then you mix them up whatever way you choose to mix them up. Some people tilt them, some people heat them, some people heat them and tilt them. I will probably heat and tilt. She'll probably heat and tilt. The red looks awesome in that. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna steal the heat gun again. Keep mine up a little. See if I can't get. Um, you can also use a hair dryer, guys. Um, it's a low level heat. This is a hot heat, so you got to be really careful. Even with a hair dryer, you still got to be careful on how you do things because you can scorch your resin. Now I can tell you right now, the heat moving that blue pigment is really looking good. It makes it shine. I'm not quite sure what the reason I want to do so. Got some good selling going on up in here. Some nice sales going on right there. I add a little bit more blue, I believe, because I got a lot of green. And maybe some more white. Sorry guys, we don't do a lot of talking. I take and concentrate a little bit when I'm doing mine. I don't do a lot of talking. I don't either. I just try to pay attention to what I'm doing and 
trying to see, make it come out the way I want to. Looks pretty good. Now I noticed that your color stayed your color when you mixed the resin in it. Mm -hmm. And when like I used the purple, purple of that, yeah. when I used the same kind of purple, it's uh, she used the DecoArt Metallic and she used a Delusions paint comes in these little things and it stayed the same color that's in here as it did when she mixed in the resin but I used their great purple it looks dark grapey color in here and I mixed it in with the resin and it turned pink on me the whole cup was pink so I'm not sure why that they reacted that way but then by the time it dried it was back to a purplish color not the yeah. exact color that it was but it was a purple color so Break the tension right here, get the foot flow. stick and I'm going around the bottom edges to catch some of the grips that usually we have to clean off after they're done. I'm just trying to catch a few before it dries. And we have a lot more than what we start out with.
Yeah. And sometimes you can take the heat gun or the blow dryer and it, you know, it just seems to be still resin in the cup. You can try to loosen it up. And be careful because and if you're using plastic cups, it'll the whole part of this, guys, is to have fun. That's basically why you're doing this. If you're doing this and you're wanting to be super serious and all that, that's great. But do it to have fun. Do it just to, to have a peace of mind and relax for a few minutes. Yep. And to me, nothing is a mess up because art is how you interpret it. Exactly. What you may think is a mess up, somebody else may find completely beautiful and love it to death. So as long as you don't tell somebody it's a mess up, you just create it and let other people, you know, judge for themselves. You can have your, you know, opinions about it, but, you know, let other people get a chance because you may be surprised. Now, granted, some people may just be mean and say, oh, that's the worst thing I've ever seen, you know, but, that's people. That's people that's going to be. But you'd be surprised what people find is being beautiful. We sold... Didn't you have one of your friends um, had a mess up or she considered a mess up and somebody paid $100 for well, it? Yeah, exactly. Um, one of the uh, people that we watch all the time on uh, YouTube, um, she even said it in her video, man, this is a big piece of mess i can't believe i did this i hate it blah 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 before the video was over she sold it for a hundred dollars because somebody was on there watching her chatted said i love it i'll take it i'll give you a hundred dollars for it and she said a hundred dollars sold that's how quick it was i mean and she thought it was the biggest mess she'd ever made and you know i i thought it was actually beautiful myself i actually liked it i didn't think she made that you know a mess out of it but she was just convinced that it was awful. She didn't like it. One one of her best pieces. Um, you know, she yeah. felt like it was a waste of her time. She couldn't believe she did it. And like I said, she ended up selling it for a hundred dollars. So that's amazing, guys. Just trust in yourself first. Don't always, you know, you're always going to be your first critic, and you're going to be your hardest. But trust in yourself. If you got the want to do it, at least try to do it. Try to do it for yourself. Don't worry about trying to sell it first, maybe. Just do it for yourself. Make a piece that you can share with family and friends. Yeah, because the first pieces we made, we haven't sold, and we're not going to sell. We them. have sold some. But we. I'm saying uh, the very first ones, we have not sold. No, not the very first ones we have. No, we, we still have those. But we have done some since, and we went up, and actually we sold. We did, if you guys watch my channel, we did a couple's pour. That sold quickly. The lady fell in love with it immediately after she saw it. Uh, wanted it right then and there. Took it. Uh, my wife, she did a uh, neon and fluorescent black color light. pour and, and black light colors. And we liked it. We weren't sure of it. It sold. The, the people that bought it couldn't believe it, loved it. Uh, the fact that we told them that it was black light, you know, that you could use it and use a black light. They were thrilled to death. They couldn't wait to get it home. Um, so it kind of shocked us, me and her. We were like, wow, really? Um, it, it's been crazy, you know, the response you get sometimes when you think, oh man, I think I just made the biggest mistake. And it ends up being something that somebody loves. So. You know, just like I said, just have faith in yourself and do it. And, you know, you may or may not find people that like it, but, you know, if you don't try it, you'll never know. Um, we've just recently started doing this. I've always wanted to do it my whole life. I just never had faith in myself to do it. And then a friend of mine convinced me to do a channel on YouTube because he thought I had a great personality, thought by me doing stuff, it'd be great. People would follow me and I thought you're crazy. Um, it'll never work out. Little did I know, by making art, something I've always wanted to do, people started following me. And, you know, they comment on my videos, I follow them back. And now we've got like a small little family that we follow each other, we make comments on each other's videos, we encourage each other, um, you know, we stand by each other. It's kind of nice, you know, because it's, it's a small little family that we have. You know, we're just artists doing what we do to love things and then we you know we get together and we watch each other do our videos and you know then we can say hi how you doing man your painting looks great 
Um, Angelica, she's one of them that I watch and follow. Uh, Mixed Media, um, she does uh, great work too. Uh, Artists of Death family, I love you guys. Uh, fell in love with you guys. Uh, stumbled upon your videos and by chance entered one of your uh, drawings and uh, won. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Uh, guys, I did a video on that. Please watch it. It's an unboxing video when I got their art. Um, it kind of explains how that worked out. Uh, they are beautiful people. I love watching them. Matter of fact, we were watching them live. They're on live right now by, over there on the big screen TV um, while we're doing this video uh, because I got to time manage. I got to do the videos and do that and watch them too. So I just have to make as much as I can when I can. Can because you, work. Can you heat my heat my <clears throat> Sorry, heat my nut. Can you get yours up while you hold it? Sure can. It's not, it's not running down here where I want it to. So, that's the one I pull down. Okay, that's it. Thank you. You did it. You did it. Oh, there, there, man. And sometimes when you do these, don't overthink them, you know, because you could end up, you know, spending half your night or half your day going, ah, I gotta fix, I gotta put something here, I gotta put something there, and sometimes overthinking it just gets you a big mess. <laughs> Sorry guys, lost you there. We'll cut all that part out. But um, like we were saying, have fun with this. Um, that's, the, that's the point of being art. Don't try to be Picasso right off the bat, unless you're Picasso. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, you can do it, do it. I mean, but if you can't, then don't worry about it, guys. Just have fun. I think I'm gonna switch out on the thing and put some more on this one. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause that's all we do guys we just do this to have fun yeah now we do try to sell our work I am in the process of building hangingwithtony.com um, I've got the web domain and I'm working on trying to get the sales site up so we can sell paintings and these little things um, because we do want to make a little money at doing it you know to have you know see what we can do And if you see me working on something and I stick my tongue out, something my dad did, I don't know why I do it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> you have more to your other one? Yeah. And guys, if you, I just noticed the part of it had a dog hair in it from Jaeger. So I scraped it out, and that's how easy it is. I'm trying to fix it. It's simple. You don't have to go too crazy. That's the whole part about having it, you know. You can just have fun. You're going to hear that word a lot on this channel. Fun, fun, fun. Because that's what you want to do it for. Do it for fun. Do it to do family projects. You know, something you can just sit around and enjoy doing. All right, I'm gonna call both of mine done. You may see a little smoke there because I got a little close. Definitely don't wanna do that. Getting close is bad. I'll take this clear one right here and see if I can pop a little of the bubbles here.
and if you seem to enjoy it and you know want to you know start doing it yourself Walmart and Michaels is the best place to get stuff cheap and so you don't have to go like majorly expensive yeah guys you can start out with the 50 cent paints they're uh, apple barrel they're 50 cent little starter bottles of paint they work just fine you can use deco art you can use basics um, there's all kinds of stuff guys and you don't have to start with resin start with acrylic paint it's the cheaper way to start the paints aren't as expensive you use everything else is exactly the same yeah it just uh, the one thing about acrylics it takes a little longer to dry than resin yeah, yeah it'll take slightly no big bit. deal either yeah just find a good spot to put it don't mess with it let it dry yeah And guys, I'll take pictures after the fact and show you guys what it looks like. And I'll take pictures after it settles down. I like that better. Yep, that does look real good. Okay. Alrighty, guys, we got four different ones. They all, both sets look really good. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yep, thank Remember, you. Remember, if you guys are interested in doing a class with me, in the comments just say very interested so I can kind of gauge how many of the people that follow me are interested in doing it so I can start pricing, putting together the kits. Um, my daughter's going out for me. She's setting up all of her friends and their friends' friends to see if they're interested. They all like this kind of stuff. They just have never done it before. So hopefully we can help them get started. Um, Again, thank you guys for watching. If you can, hit the like button. If you can't and you have to hit the dislike button, at least leave a comment let me know why. You know, if we can't fix it because you can't, don't tell us, then, you know, it doesn't do us any good. But if there's something you can constructively get criticism on, or at least, you know, just leave a comment. Even if it's a, just a negative comment, if you a negative comment, at least we'll know that. All right, guys. Thank you. And thank you. And one other thing we didn't tell you about is... Tony made this table, but if you want to do this art, you just put down some wax paper. Wax paper, yeah. Just find a, any kind of surface. You can put wax paper down yeah. on your dining room table. Just make sure it's a lot bigger than your, your work surface. Yeah, because you're going to have runoff, and don't throw away the runoff because that also... That also you skin. can turn into skins, which you can turn into resin jewelry, which will be something else we'll do very soon, guys. I know I promised you guys a lot of stuff. On this channel, I promised you uh, resin work, which is this, acrylic pours, which is this, Lichtenberg uh, burning. Yeah. Um, that's coming soon. And amazing places, guys. I did a burl, the knotted section um, on there already. I want to go to so many more places. Um, it's just with my job, it's hard. I've got two weeks of day shift back to back, so I get off at a decent time. So maybe I can use that and go to places and uh, ask them, beg them to let me come down and shoot a free video, let them post the links everywhere, it's free advertisement, and you know, it works out for both of us. I get the views on the channel from their people watching it or other people watching it, and they get the free advertising. So if you guys know a place that'll allow me to come down um, and do a Hanging With Tony video, it's a place that you love, I'd love to meet you down there. We can set up and do a Hanging With Tony, hanging out with you guys at your favorite restaurant, at your favorite arcade, at your favorite bowling alley, um, anywhere you guys can think of that you think is a cool place to hang out, eat, whatever, let me know. Maybe we can meet up and do a video down there and get them some free advertising. It's going to be free to them, nothing costs to them. All they do is just allow us to shoot the video, allow my friend to edit it, allow us to post it, and then they just send the traffic our way 
you know, to get their customers to like the video, get the customers to comment on the video, get the customers to share the video, and they get all the free online social media um, advertising. So that's kind of what we're going to try to do um, on this channel, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you can, give us a thumbs up. If you can't, give us a thumbs down, but at least tell us why you're giving us a thumbs down. And subscribe, guys, if you can. Thank you for everybody that's been subscribed and hasn't seen a video in a while. Uh, sorry I was busy, but we got at least one out now, and I hope to get some more out this week and next week as my schedule allows, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good night. Hey, guys. It's the day after the pour, and we just wanted to show you what they turned out and looked like. These are the ones Tony made. The other one here. He did a better job of matching than I did. So these are the ones he did. They're really nice and pretty. They match. <laughs> and these are the ones I did. They match in color, but they didn't turn out as good as Tony's. But like I said, they we said it's all in the artist eyes. And these are the two I did. They were, came out nice and shiny. And those pigments work great. So we just wanted to show you what they ended up looking like. And this is how they came out. Hope y'all have a good day. Talk to y'all later. Bye.